Today's video will be discussing about how to reduce skin pore sizing. I have to put this as a two-part video due to the fact that um, different ethnic skin types will require different treatments. Today we're talking about how to treat skin pores in darker skin types. Hey guys, uh, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be uh, featuring a special guest. Um, you've seen them before. Uh, we are going to treat pores. So we're going to actually minimize pores and um, I'll show you how it's done. Um, pore sizing is very, very uh, commonly requested uh, treatment for myself. Uh, they always come and, hey Dav, um, yeah, Dr. Lim, can you actually help me with my pores? Most of the time um, I use what's known as a pico -sure laser um, in, in ethnic skin types uh, and in fairer skin types I like using things like uh, microneedling PRP as well as Fraxel lasers. So um, watch carefully and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, guys, uh, we've got a special guest. You've known him, you've seen him before. Hey, um, dude, have you told Dad about um, your tat? I mean, like, um, has he... What's going on? Yeah, yeah, so... Um, this is so today, today is um, actually Chinese New Year, the first day of Chinese New Year. So last night we had a family reunion, which I flew back from Singapore for. Um, the good thing is that we had a whole family there, uh, which meant that I had protection of numbers. And through the protection of numbers... Uh, that's when I introduced my father to, to my tattoo. Yep, to the full sleeve or almost no, half, no, half sleeve, half sleeve, half sleeve. Half sleeve. That. So he's yeah. still got to finish the other side and to compete with his yeah. older brother. So well, yeah. it's not much of a competition. See that the older brother has got a, a fish, um, a very feminine fish, which um, sort of flaps around in the water, uh, whilst mine is a, a more majestic tiger. Um, I think that's a pussy cat. Isn't fairly it? independent, sort of um, always looking to climb uh, yeah. on top, but. I yeah. guess I guess you know the 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 fish will will, will suit his personality better. Okay, well let, let's see yeah. that this tiger screams when I laser him. Yeah, okay, right, right, so right. Okay. Right, right now we're talking about pores. Okay, so it's pores are very common for not um, not, not these pores, <laughs> no, not those pores. Mm. Um, your skin pores. All right. So remember when we were talking about big P's, the last time you were here you said you had a big PP for... The second thing is I have an extraordinarily large penis for an Asian. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that, that, that one guys, hey, it's a professional channel here guys. <laughs> Dr. David Lin, board certified dermatologist. Um, I didn't say that. Okay, so this is coming from my brother. Sorry, well, very, very, hey, no, hey, right. hey, come on, dude, hey, I've got a reputation here. Okay, so anyway. But anyway, yeah, but um, I think I was, well, P's for pores, okay? So the reason why mm. we have big pores as Asians is because of... Um, our our, yellow skin. <laughs> because of our skin type. Yeah. Right, right, skin so, type. Yep, so our skin type. Right. So basically why we have uh, a large pores is because we are genetically bred that way. Um, and um, we need to breathe, especially during, um, I guess, the tropical climate, where we need to keep cool. So it's one of those very common skin conditions which we treat, uh, and I'll show you how I actually treat my brother. So we'll see the before and afters, uh, and uh, we'll see another big man scream very and, and And just in a general sense, he treats me very poorly. Like that's the... <laughs> That's how you treat Hey, dude, me. I treat you free of charge, man. <laughs> well, and, that's, and, that's and, indirect. And, and, right. and poorly as well. Right. So I guess okay. he's, he's, got, he's got it there. See okay. you soon. See ya. Bye. Hey, guys. So here we are doing tattoo removals today. Um, we're going to remove my brother's tattoo. So we can see we've got a beautiful line here that we're it's taking. a tiger. Is it? Oh, it is a tiger. <coughs> Sorry, it's a cat. Yeah, it's a cat family anyway. Um, so we're going to remove his tattoo um, right now. Um, and uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, I can see it's put in about maybe 60 hours of work, but we'll see what we can do to uh, remove the, uh, the tiger. Just joking, what we're going to do is use the same laser. So, guys, this is the same laser. It's called a Q-switch laser or picosecond laser. It can be used to treat tattoos, but I'm using it in the setting to treat um, pores on my brother's face. Okay, Wim, you ready? All good. All good, here we go. So this is a photoacoustic laser, you can hear it, um, he's got lots of pigment um, and that snap is basically melanin which is being blown up. You do that to your ink as well, do you want me to do that to your ink? Are you right? No, I'm just more worried about the smell. The smell? Oh, that's your skin burning. Mm. Yeah. Right. What's the pain like? 
for someone uh, who needs Botox for, uh, not eyes for Botox, what's the pain like? It's actually okay. Oh, well, you know Dad had this and um, Dad didn't use any anesthetic. Really? Yeah. Because he likes pain. Yeah, well, I, it's, a, it's a video of him having this without any local anesthetic and I ask him how's the pain, he goes, what pain? Yeah. So I'm moving very quick. Um, you can hear that snap, that snap of like it says melanin. And you'll see over the next uh, couple of weeks, um, there'll be a marked reduction in pore size. I'm moving very, very quickly with this laser because there's a lot of that snap, is that melanin. You don't use sunscreen, do you? No. Yeah, see, it's, that's one of its problems here. He's in the, lives in Singapore. Um, hey, actually, for, for you, um, you're, are, you, are you single? Uh, technically, yes. Yeah, yeah. technically, yes. Yeah. So, hey, uh, BJ, EJ, um, this, um, my brother's single, so, um, this is a shout out to, um, someone in Singapore over there. He's, uh, he's a really nice guy and he's single, so. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the technicalities of this. So, basically, this laser procedure itself is designed to reduce pores. It works by stimulating collagen. It's got a, it works by two ways. Number one, it shatters melanin. Melanin releases cytokines. Cytokines are basically growth factors that stimulate some collagen. The second um, way it actually works is because it's a picosecond laser, it delivers so much energy, it actually creates a shock wave that goes right down into the dermal layer of the skin. And it's a pressure shock wave that also creates um, collagen stimulation. So from a serious point of view, um, this is how the technicalities of this laser works. It's more biased towards Asian skin types, the reason being is that we've got more melanin. So if he was Caucasian, we wouldn't hear that amount of ping, uh, which means our target won't be there and the results aren't good. So for Caucasian skin types, this is not my preferred method for reducing pore sizing. I like to use a Fraxel laser for that. So we're also reducing his sun damage, which is accumulated over 40 Three. Seven years, 48 years. 43. Oh, 43 years. Um, so we're reducing some of the sun damage as well. Some of his pigmentation. You'll see how he recovers uh, in the next in the next day or so. Because where we're going after this, now we're going to the coast for family time, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, and Dad's going to have a look at your tattoo, isn't he? We'll have a closer look at it. He will, yeah. We might take a video of that as well to see what Dad does to you. Yeah. Okay. Probably hurt a little bit more than this. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I think it'll probably slap you. Okay. So we've fired, well, it's actually pretty good. We've fired 2,300 shots. Um, I usually go for about 2,000, 2,000 shots. Or so, but for you, um, with a lot of sun damage, we're probably about two, five, two, six thousand shots. Yeah. Well, some damage is uh, caused by exercise, such as running and cycling. Something which I do every day. What about you? Neither activity you participate in. I'm a swimmer, man. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's why I fish. Yeah. And you have a cat. I have two dogs. No, on your arm. Ah. Uh, as opposed to your goldfish on your arm. Yeah, absolutely. And my dolphins and sharks. So you want to know what this laser feels like with no anaesthetic? No, thank you. Oh! <laughs> oh. Okay, yeah. the most important thing now is a bit of steroid ointment. So I'm going to put in some steroid and that's going to reduce the inflammation. Uh, and we can see what it looks like tomorrow morning because we're off to the coast now for some romance time. <laughs> does, that, does that mean I uh, can't be in the sun tomorrow? Well, you can be in the sun tomorrow, but you're right. just going to wear lots of sunscreen. Okay. Um, and can the steroid cream be used anywhere else on the body, on the male body? Look, for treating that um, STD of yours, I do not uh, believe in steroid creams for the genital area. Right. So you might have to see another specialist for that. Um, sorry, man, I don't go there. Okay. H how did you get rid of yours? Um, I went to see a specialist. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah. But it came back after a year. That's called herpes. Ah, <laughs> never goes away. You wanted me to be steady, stop making me laugh. <laughs> Okay guys, look, this is supposed to be an educational channel. Uh, 
a little bit of banter here, but that's about it. Very um, harmless banter. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll see what he looks like tomorrow. Guys, this gets interesting. My brother is out there now, over there, um, and he's got a sleeve, so he's got a tattoo. My dad is over there uh, behind me, and he doesn't know about my brother's tattoo. So we'll have a look and see what eventuates in the next um, two minutes. Um, it seems to me like my brother is swimming to America at this moment in time. Um, he's kind of afraid of confrontation, so... Um... Hey Ian, you going to New York? Uh, are you swimming to LA? Are you swimming to LA? I think he's swimming to LA guys, so um, we'll see him in America. He'll probably hit shores in about 65 days. Just to get away from my dad over there. Angry old Asian guy. Yeah, so it's like a Mexican standoff. You've got my brother in the distance over here, you can see. Um, and my dad doesn't know he's got a tat. And my dad's over there catching for pippies, as what Asians do on beaches. So, um, it's a standoff. Is he coming in? Oh, he's coming in. So we're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, hang tight. Oh, you're coming back in, are you? You better go that way because Dad can't see you. That way. Go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, go. Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, run. So my dad actually seen the tattoo and his comments was basically, um, it's really well drawn. The the tiger was extremely real and uh, yeah, it actually follows the contours of his muscles very nicely and um, he's quite surprised at the um, artistic nature of the artist. So um, yeah, very good. Let's see what happens um, at dinner tonight. Okay guys, on a serious note, let's have a look at the before and afters and analyze things. This is my brother beforehand. Um, you can see areas of laxity, skin pores, and spots and dots. This is him two days after. Note the uh, skin darkening due to sun exposure, and this is him four weeks later. Look at the skin tightening. So if we study things closely, you can see the pore size reduction is marked. He's got a lot of collagen there, uh, and this is really uh, what we see with this laser in ethnic skin type. You can see um, the marked amount of pigmentation reduction in collagen here. This is my laser of choice for myself as well. Um, I've had this treatment um, before, I think about two years ago. I have not needed another laser treatment because my skin pore sizing has actually decreased um, over the last two years. Hey guys, thanks for watching that, I guess, uh off the cuff video on um, pore size removal or pore size reduction for ethnic skin types. Now for Caucasian skin types, I've got this whole new video because the way I approach Caucasian or lighter skin types is totally different. Uh, this is because we don't have um, uh, the melanin uh, in Caucasians for um, lasers such as the Pico laser to work at its best. Sure, can it work? Yes, it can, uh, but I tailor each individual skin type to a particular laser. So, in the upcoming months, you'll see me doing um, how to treat pores using uh, lasers such as the Clear and Brilliant, the Fraxel laser, fully ablative laser resurfacing, and of course, um, Infini, PRP, microneedling, uh, and different techniques uh, to help with pore size reduction, including even chemical peels. So stay tuned guys, um, that video will be up in the next couple of months. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Uh, I do one educational channel. It's usually not as fun as this channel. Um, I mean, not as fun as this video. Uh, it's usually a little bit more serious, but this is, uh, yeah, my brother, he comes here like uh, twice or three times a year and we just do these silly videos. But look, um, Seriously, if you're, if you're keen on learning things, please subscribe. One educational video every Saturday morning, uh, Brisbane time. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you next week. Bye. I'm also on Instagram under Dr. Davin Lim. Uh, I post a few videos and quite a fair few pictures throughout the week. So if you want to learn something new or um, watch um, some really nice clips on how I actually perform procedures, uh, please subscribe. And um, thanks for watching once again, guys. Bye.